What's going on you guys, this is Jake with Pac-Man Sports, coming back to you guys with another video. Finally, the bad man has spoken on the whole fiasco with a lot of people in the media are going to take things and twist it to whichever narrative that they see fit for their agenda. ESPN, Fox Sports, whoever. This has been talked about all throughout through the mainstream media. This has been talked about through Green Bay Packers media and the Packers fans channels like myself have already talked a little bit about what's going on between the uh, two sides here, both Aaron and the Packers. So uh, there's been so a few things that he has been able to say. He hasn't given out too much into great detail about the whole deal with the uh, Packers and why he is uh, disgruntled, uh, how as some people have taken it. So this is a, this has been taken from the interview with Kenny Maine, who is going to be done with ESPN, and this is where Aaron has spoken on the matter. So let's get into the video of Aaron speaking about about the situation with the Packers. Uh, thanks for joining us here. So uh, you didn't show up in Green Bay for the voluntary workouts, but since they were voluntary, I guess you're off the hook. Thank you, Ken. Yes, I did not show up. A lot of people are uh, counting on this interview, like make some big news so you could take jeopardy, you're going to retire, uh, you're going to demand a trade, you're going to show up on time. I mean, pick one. G give me something to work with here. I'm just here so I won't get fined, Ken. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch coming late. Uh, <laughs> pulling a Marshawn Lynch. Um, have you considered the uh, fan-controlled football league? Is that sort of something you can, you know, like a hedge bet or, or use as a bargaining chip? I think so. I think that's definitely on the table. Anything's on the table at this point, Ken. But look, I'm just here. I'm just here because it's your last show. And that's that's the only reason I'm here. I didn't yeah. want to make it about me. I wanted to have like some famous friends. You know, I heard something about that Kenny Main was getting fired by ESPN. I don't know what the whole deal is with Kenny and what happened between the two, but apparently he's going he has gone from ESPN as we speak. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, what's the deal with going in with Kenny Maine? Because I'm a little bit out of the loop on that because I don't pay attention, pay attention to ESPN or anything like that because I've tuned out from what ESPN uh, does in the sports world because it's just it just sucks. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you guys, ESPN just sucks now. It's not like it, what it used to be back in the 2000s and earlier when it was really, really the worldwide leader in sports and now it's just a joke compared to what it used to be. Um, I'm going to ask one serious question that you kind of led me to, so we serve the people on all counts. Do you find it strange that the people have been sort of conditioned to believe management is always right? Like, like the player's a bad guy because he stands up for himself. This is a pretty good question. Right because the loyalty to the team is paramount. And then someone like you, others, Richard Sherman, have kind of voiced that opinion like, hey, I, I'm, a, I'm a worker. I work for myself and my family, so I'm going to stick up for myself in whatever situation it is. God, that was a serious question. <laughs> that was a good question. You know, I think I think sometimes people forget uh, what really makes an organization. And uh, you know, history is important. Uh, you know, legacy of so many uh, people who've come before you. But the people—that's the most important thing. The people make an organization. People make a business. Um, and sometimes uh, that gets forgotten. You know, culture is built brick by brick the foundation of it by the people you know not by the not by the organization not by the building not by the, the corporation it's built by the people and i've been fortunate to play with a number of amazing amazing people and got to work for some amazing people as well and it's those people that build the foundation of those entities and i think sometimes we forget that you know uh, Are you demanding my, a trade? With, yeah, with my situation, look, it's it's never been about, uh, you know, never been about the draft pick, you know, picking Jordan. I love Jordan. He's a great kid. Um, you know, he, he, a lot of fun to, to work together. Uh, I love coaching staff. Love my teammates. You know, love the fan base in Green Bay. It's incredible. Incredible 16 years. And come back, bro. It's just kind of about a, a, a philosophy. And, come you know, back. And, and maybe forgetting if you love us, come back, man. The thing go. It's about 
it's about character, it's about culture, it's about doing things the right way. And a lot of this was put in motion last year, and uh, the wrench was just kind of thrown into it when I won MVP and played uh, the way I played last year. So this is just kind of, I think, uh, the, the spill out of all that. But, look, man, it is about the people, and that's the most important thing. Green Bay has always been about the people, from Curly Lambeau, mm-hmm. uh, being owner and founder to the 60s with Lombardi and Bart Starr and all those incredible names, to the 90s teams with sure. Holmgren and Farvey and the Minister of Defense to the, the run that we've been on. It's Mike Holmgren, Mike Sherman, Mike McCarthy. Oh, Marshawn waiting on it extends to you. I just want to wrap this up with that cluttered table that you described earlier. Is there a way that on that table you can knock some stuff out and, and find some kind of a, some kind of agreement, or do you have something else that you want it to end at? I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to. I kind of said my piece to the last part. What I want to say is one more time that thank you as a fan, as a friend, as a lover of sports. You changed the way that we watch sports. I remember- All right. So that is that for the whole entire context of what Aaron had to say on on the whole thing with uh, with uh, the uh, interview with Kenny Maine on the problem with the Packers, like I said, there wasn't too much, but there was definitely enough that he said to be able to get people thinking and to get people to overreact to the situation. And people are obviously thinking that he's going to be traded because of all of this stuff. Um, My take on this is that um, Aaron and the Packers see things uh, differently and there hasn't been a much of any progress at all in order to be able to come into uh, come into to like to meeting in the middle to where both sides are going to be happy with how things are going to be run in the Packers organization, the culture and the people that are running everything. Well, it's hard to say where Aaron is, who he's thinking of that he doesn't like. Uh, a lot of people want to say that it's Brian Good, a our general manager, uh, that is the uh, main guy that he hates and he wants to be fired. Uh, We don't know if he wants Brian fired. He hasn't outright said that he wants him to be fired uh, publicly. So I think this is probably goes a little bit more deeper than his, uh, than, than his, uh, some frustrations with the front office with coaching. He hasn't said that there was anything, any, any problems with coaching. So it probably may have to possibly be, from the front office or possibly higher. Um, the, the problem could be with Mark Murphy, the uh, team president. We don't know. And I think that we will have to see how this happens. Uh, a lot of people are going to assume once June 1st rolls around, then the Packers are going to trade him. Uh, when the Packers have said they've been pretty adamant about not trading him at this very moment. And I'm very, very positive that the Packers are not going to just up and trade him as soon as June 2nd rolls around. So with all that said, I will catch you guys later. Go Pack Go.